Hey friends, welcome back. It has been a day already. This is the week where we're kind of wrapping up a lot of our homeschool things. Um, we put together a little homeschool group that are fellow military spouses and our kids are all around the same age. And so it's four families. We meet up together every week and it's been a big blessing for us this year. But two of the families are moving. It's military life. So we had an extra fun play date today. We go to a local nursery once a month. And today we got to learn and plant seeds. So I have watermelon seeds, more watermelon seeds to grow. Um, but then on the way home, I had to stop at Singham's because what fresh things we had just didn't last. Um, and I need to unpack and I figure we could unpack together, right? Uh, so let's, let me show you what I got from Sam's and then we're gonna make dinner. So first up, I always scavenge the meat. And since our freezer died um, a, like a month or so ago, we have like no raw meat. So I've been slowly building back up a meat stock. So when I find meat on sale, I grab it. This is an applewood marinated. I normally don't buy marinated snakes or marinated meat, pre-marinated meat. But um, this was a four pack of chicken. It was, you know, it's, it's something to get in the freezer. And when I find meat on sale, I like to grab meat on sale. This was sliders, a pack of, I think, 18. So it's, just, it's something quick to have in. And then just a generic pack of chicken breast. I normally don't buy a lot of meat from like Sam's Club or places like that because we buy meat in bulk from a local butcher shop. Um, and that's just our favorite place, but it's a drive. This was close. Like we need stuff like, like now we're, um, we're a little tired of all the food I have canned. We incredibly enjoy it and love it, but we are like, sometimes you just want like a grilled chicken breast. That's what I'm going to make tonight. With some pasta salad because that's easy. And then if you have a Sam's Club, if you're a Sam's Club person, these Hatch chilies enchiladas, they are so good. Throwing them in the fridge for later. One thing I want to one day get into is like making my own chips and stuff, but you know, season of life we are in right now, this is, this is what works. And we buy like a bag a month, so it's not bad. Six romaine heads. Because, would you believe we go through that much lettuce in like two weeks as a family of four? Uh, where's my big bag? Here's my other bag of stuff. Ooh, I saw someone go where they have like big reusable bags and that's where they put most of their like little things from Sam's Club in. And I just thought it was brilliant. Like Sam's Club, Costco, whatever. So then you're not done with the boxes. Blew my mind. I don't know why I've never thought of it, but Anywho, that's what I got. Uh, here we are. Two things, bananas, one yellow, one more yellow, one more green. Hopefully that lasts us. Cause we're down to like four apples in our house. I grabbed a thing of pita bread. Pita bread is on my list to make like tortillas this year, but you know what? Right now this one works. And I think um, like pizzas are going to be in our future. I got meat and I'm gonna need to move that meat over there because I'm gonna like vacuum seal them up after we're done. My kids requested blueberries. We have six blueberry plants in our front yard and we produce pretty much all our blueberries for the year. But my kids are like, I need them now. <laughs> and that's what I got. Um, thing of cherry tomatoes, same reason. Cucumbers. Same reason I cannot wait for my cucumbers to put them off. Okay, cheese we needed. Some more block cheese. If I block cheese, I shred it. One day I'm gonna be smart and buy cheese in like bulk, but I'm not there yet. Parmesan cheese, I just get it like this because you know what, it's easy. I stick it in the freezer and I use it mainly for like um, Alfredo sauce because our family is not 
like they are, they're not the biggest Parmesan cheese fan. Um, this was a new thing I found today and I grabbed it to try organic coffee creamer, sweet cream. Um, for the last year, year and a half, the way I make coffee is with half and half and um, maple syrup. I've given up my like, what is it? International House Delight or something like that. I've given that up completely. And now if I try it, I don't like it. So, but I got this because this is organic milk, organic cream and organic cane sugar. So I wanna try it because we are a coffee drinking house and um, I will not give that up. I also got another pack of beef sticks. Not the best for you, not the worst for you. I liked it, I like it, our family does too. And then I got this hard salami, it's a two pack. It was less than $5, normally like $10. So it was $5 on sale, $5 off right now. So I grabbed a pack for like, we like to make homemade Lunchables a lot. So I grabbed that so that, oh, I also grabbed, what else did I grab? Oh yeah, I grabbed, we are a big fan of the Berenstein Bears. Um, we, one of the TV shows I let my kids watch, Berenstein Bears, they love the books. So we got to begin a reader because my son is learning to read right now. Well, he knows how to read, I should say. He's moving into first grade next year. So just good books to read. And um, I don't know, that's just like one of those childhood feel goods. And then got myself a pair of shorts. I'm now buying clothes where I buy my food. <laughs> I have been for a while. Um, I've been looking for a pair of shorts I feel comfortable in um, since having kids. Now my hip surgery. My body has actually changed a lot and the way my muscles are in my hips and back have kind of changed. Um, and not that I feel self-conscious, but I still don't feel like me yet. Um, so sometimes I like to wear dresses and things because it hides it. So I grabbed these shorts. They are a linen blend and I want to try them out. They're Gap shorts, but they were like $15 instead of, the tag says 50 isn't that ridiculous? So I'll see if those fit. Oh, and I got a gallon of milk. We drink whole milk and that's everything. Now I gotta go put it all away. One of my hardest working kitchen gadgets, I guess, is my food saver. So I have the food saver that has the attachment to it. So you can, um, food saver makes attach many things but there's also an attachment to a mason jar and i love it so it just looks like this you attach it i'll show you guys how to use it um, in the future but mine also has a little thing to hold bags if you choose it works great i got it on a deal actually at target so you want to watch deals but when i get meat in bulk i always break it up and always label it um so i put I have two packs of three, two, one pack of two. My CKN is <laughs> from when I worked at a high, uh, from when I worked at a restaurant in high school, this was the abbreviation for chicken and it has stuck in my brain for 10 plus years. So I have the chicken broken up into basically three meals. Sometimes we'll eat the chicken breast just grilled. Sometimes it'll be broken up into a meal so I can get one or two meals out of each of these packs. Um, these beef sliders, there's nine per, here. So this is probably two meals and it's just an easy way to divide up your meat and save it. You of course don't have to use a food saver. Um, I used to use Ziploc bags back in the day. Um, but since I've invested in this and uh, Sam's club has a pretty good deal on bags, just in general, um, I do this. And so my meat is here and this is how our new freezer is looking i posted about this when i did my first sam's club tour and everything from my stand-up freezer is in here because my stand-up freezer is getting a really good defrost so i can see everything we have and so here's my bulk meat that i got before i can see how much butter i have my tortilla stash my strawberry stash only one of these bags is from last year the rest are from this year i found an amazing deal at our local farm that i love we have four bags of broccoli left three bags of bell peppers from last year a couple things of corn 
And then these are sweet potatoes and banana peppers. And then that's all that's left over, I think, from last year. Oh, and then in the bottom basket is zucchini. Would you believe me if I didn't actually make dinner the night I said I would? We ended up going out with friends that are basically family now. And it was kind of a nice night to get out and escape. So I ended up making what I said I was going to make the next night. And my pasta salad is pretty easy. I just take noodles, um, cucumbers, broccoli, tomatoes, and then I cube up some cheese. And I mix it all together. I think this night I also added in peas and corn. They were frozen, so I just stuck them in a bowl of water until they defrosted. Yeah, there they are. And then my family's favorite topping and pasta salad like this is ranch over uh, like an Italian dressing that a lot of people do. This is just like uh, a ranch I made for, um, not from scratch. I have a powder mix and I make it up. I just like the consistency better than the pre-made ranch and just mix it up real good. And oh, rogue noodle. I think with pasta salad, the longer it kind of sits in the fridge, the better it is. So I did make this a little earlier in the day, and it was amazing the next night, I will tell you that. And then, oh, there you go. That's what it looked like, and it was a big old bowl. This was uh, probably three or four meals worth we got out of it. Not for all of us. Sometimes it was like my husband and I's lunch. And of course, you know, when you make something, you gotta, you know, sample it. You know, gotta be the poison tester, right? Any other parent do this? Because it's sometimes my favorite thing to do. And then here we are at dinner. All I did was I took that chicken breast I said I was going to make and I fried it up. And if anybody has tips on how to get into this kind of packaging a little easier, I will gladly take them because let me tell you how much I struggled. It was a lot. A lot. I added it out so much of the struggling just because it was kind of embarrassing. So this chicken came pre-marinated. It was easy to go. I just stuck it in a skillet and then eventually I did chop it up just for easy eating and here was dinner it was a summer summer meal that I was craving and then here is the look of all the dishes I get to clean up here in a second so have a good day friends bye